What's up guys, it's Zekakoon back with another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how Android brought me to buy the Google Pixel. Now obviously for me I was not an Apple user so I was going to go for an Android phone and the Android phone with the best optimization was the Google Pixel obviously since it was made by Google, the one who makes Android. They're also fast and easy to use like most Android phones, but the Google services such as Gmail, Google Maps, Google Assistant are all default apps, so you'll have better optimization since of course it's made by Google, so it'll be more optimized. And the last feature really brought me to it was the camera. The camera is really good, but that camera only really good because of the HDR Plus. Without the HDR Plus, the camera wouldn't be that good because spec-wise the camera isn't actually that good. 12 megapixels, that's just the default on most cameras and had an aperture of only f2, which most cameras at that time had like f1.8 to let in more light, but it had the amazing software, which really brought this whole package together. And like Apple's iPhone, Google marries software and hardware together to create a really good experience and they actually had to do this considering the amount of competition there is out there in the android world so they really had to make a very premium product with good optimization and software and as well as a nice design and good features which is what they delivered and for example the samsung galaxy s8 yes that's about two years old now but this is an example of where the hardware and the software don't marry together very well so about two years ago samsung released the latest software at the time which is android 8 oreo for the samsung galaxy s8 and there was a lot of issues. Samsung had to pull the update back to them so people wouldn't update to it and they had to fix up all the bugs and stuff because it just was awful. And all this happened while Google phones were already on Android 8.1 which is one software update ahead, meaning faster security updates and stuff like that. And all of this brings me to the reason why I got the Google Pixel. Yes, it's already old, but it still has great features and it has good software even of today. It still has the latest software. Yes, they rolled out their last update recently, but it's still fast, it's still smooth, and it's got the amazing hardware and software combined to create a really good experience. Almost as good as Apple's, but I'm just not an Apple iOS user, so that's why I don't get an iPhone, because I don't like iOS, but they do have a really good experience, so that's one thing I have to admit. But if you are in an Android market, get a Google Pixel. It would be my recommendation. Get a Google Pixel 1. Yes, they're old, but you can pick one up for $150. That's how much mine cost, and there's some cheaper with uh, issues. But if you want a Google Pixel XL, you can pay about $200. If you want the one with 128 gigs, uh, I think it's about $200 as well. But yeah, it's, it, they're, they're really good value for money. So... If you are interested in buying a new phone that's cheap, I would recommend getting the Google Pixel. So that's it from me guys, hope you did enjoy the video, if you did smash the like button, if you didn't smash the dislike button, remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.